long has your agency been in existence, Pa? Since 1974, so that's 43 years. And what has been its landmark project? Sorry. sorry, Po. Ano yung landmark project niya? Anong pinakamalaking accomplishment niyan? Um, uh, CWC is supposed to, uh, it has always been coming up with the yes, National Pero ano yung action. flagship project ninyo? Ano yung pinakamalaking uh, accomplishment ninyo sa pagkahaba-haba ng panahon? Policy. kayo. Uh, Your Honor, that would be policies and plans on children. So when it comes to policies on children, uh, when it comes to laws on children, we're part of, of uh, formulating the policies on children and also coming up with the national plans. Yung po kasi yung uh, main mandate po namin. Puro policy making lang kayo? Um, uh, yes, ma'am. Wala kayong be... projects na in-implement? Uh, we would have projects implemented if we're pilot testing certain projects po. Okay. That would lead also to uh, policy development and program development. Oh, may program bigla. Akala yung policy po, lang. That, that would be actually, our mandate is also policy formulation and also plans and programs development. When it comes to program development... Okay, po, if you've been formulating policy, mm -hmm. there have been a huge number of uh, laws as well as... Um, programs that have been initiated from 1974 to the present. Of all of these, which have you taken a direct hand in? The council, I mean. Mostly po, uh, the child protection policies have been, or le legislation has been part of CWC. Uh, we're Pero, part of the... Alin, alin ang makiklaim ninyo na pinaka-accomplishment ng... Uh, office ninyo? Uh, yung talagang tinutukan ninyo, kumbaga, at uh, ginawang batas, na isa batas, na implement bilang programa, and so on. Actually, uh, actually po, aside from the uh, RE7... Kasi ang nakikita ko rito, ang proposal ninyo, puros capital outlay, hindi po ba? Okay. Hindi po. Yeah, aside from aside from the capital Bakit outlay. capital that, outlay? Ah, binawasan kayo. You built uh, something last year? Yeah. The renovation po ng building namin last year. Yes, so, you're, you're a small office. But you know, small offices are in danger of extinction right now because of the right-sizing policy of the president. Um, if we cannot lay claim to any significant law or program or policy, you're a threat. I'm not scaring you, but I'm simply saying that we have to lay claim to some kind of accomplishment. Otherwise, I don't think we can um, ask for any budget at all. Naintindihan po ninyo? Ako magtatanggol sa inyo sa ita, sa, okay. sa, sa susunod eh. Ano bang nagawa nitong opisinang to? Mapagtinanong ako ng oposisyon, anong sagot ko? Right po. Kasi, di kayo nakakasagot, ako pa. Right now po, ang pinakamatindi po namin mandato is really in terms of the compliance report. Uh, we're the coordinating body in terms of the compliance report to the Ka UN Convention. Na ako. Kanina, Activity. policy formulation. Yes, Ngayon, kayo na yung monitoring yes, po. and evaluation. Tama ba? Yes, ma'am. Ang lead-lead ng, lead -lead ng office ninyo, paano kayo magmamonitor sa buong Pilipinas? Actually, ma'am, kaya po yung hinihingi namin actually for institutional strengthening. Eh, hindi, hindi. Na, Nakaka-bipolar yung sinasabi nyo. On one hand, policy. On the yes. other hand, may program na binanggit. Pagkatapos, may compliance report. O, alin ba talaga? Ma'am, may I just read po the mandate of CWC? By virtue of PD602. Alam ko, yung ama ko nagtatag niyan eh. O nga po eh. Memorize ko po yan. <laughs> so ang problema, that, napakaraming dekada ng nakaraan. Mm -hmm. Ano pa ba ang ginagawa niyan? Relevant pa ba yan? Yes. Yan ang tanong. Relevant pa ba yan, considering there are so many bodies, DSWD has evolved into all sorts of uh, uh, institutions. It's no longer just one DSWD, di ba? Ang dami nang kinagampanan eh. So, kailangan pa ba yan? 
Ma'am, I, I think we really, really better inform Council for the Welfare of Children. Ano nga kasi yung ginagawa niyo? Okay. Ayoko mauwi kasi sa kwentong kutsero. Nagiging, uh, nagiging kwentuhan na lang to. Uh, naiinip na po ako at higit sa lahat marami pang ahensya. Can you please explain to me what is your most important job? Sa sinabi mong policy, program formulation, compliance report involving monitoring and evaluation, alin dito ang talagang ginagawa ninyo? Sa palagay mo, pinaka-importante, kumbaga 80% ng inyong panahon, tauhan at budget ay natutungo doon. Alin po yun? More on the uh, policy formulation po because right now, Uh, unfortunately... Pero ang uto sa PDP, eh oh. talaga napakaliwanag doon sa mga children in conflict areas, di ba? Yeah. Eh bakit puros policy kayo? Marami kayong sinasabing nakakalito. Mm -hmm. So kung maaari, uh, i-report ninyo exactly what is, to your mind, the most important mission given to your council. Secondly, What is your most important accomplishment since 1974?